Welcome back to the strange house of wares and vent crawling 6000. Yorick's final challenge. Not really. But. Hmm. What to do? What to do? Sneaky, I am. Very sneaky. There are so many guys about this place. I wonder if he'll see me. Where is security? Lock picking one. Even if I buff it, it only goes up to three. Alright, not going that way. I suppose I could just wholesale slaughter them until I find a key. But this door's unlocked. up free blood. Oh, I think I've been given away. Almost looks like your standard typical office. damn door. Also, you have a boomstick, so you gotta go. Add ah, I'm a ninja, friend. Kai? A very thirsty ninja. Guns everywhere in this place. People just leave these things laying around. Alright, no more of that. Ah, crap. I do believe that Jake is up. So we will calmly go over here and set a very large explosive. And now we run with your life. And everyone can fuck off if they get in our way. Why? Because we have a giant boomstick. See ya! I think they just found the explosive. They're all freaking out. Did he just turn into ash? How did he die? Ah, crap. Go ahead and get some more space while we load up. Yeah, follow me up these steps. I double you, motherfucker. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Yeah. They're definitely gonna die. They're all freaking out. You suppose they're just running around inside that cramped little area instead of, I don't know, using the escape? Go 
groovy. Your handiwork, I presume. Not experienced much in the creatures of the night, are you? For future reference, you might keep in mind that werewolves aren't in the habit of introducing themselves. No final death for me? I hadn't planned on it. Are you the big bad wolf? I see my reputation for once does not precede me. My name is Beckett. I haven't been following you, per se. We've just coincidentally been at the same places at the same time, for different reasons. So sorry if I unnerved you. Tell me, have you by chance seen or felt anything strange since your embrace? You're gonna have to expand on that. I see dead people! A ghost? Hm. Quite ordinary. I generally pay wraiths no mind. All but a few are willing to give up their secrets. On the beach, their blood was thinner than Walta. Thin bloods. They're a fascination of mine. They are considered a weaker, more human-like kindred. Hence the name, Thin Blood. But they are sired, same as any of us. I've heard a large concentration of them live in this city. They're one of the reasons I'm in Los Angeles. Uh, I did promise her I wouldn't say about her two minds. That's all I care to share. Most of my contacts here report sensing something unusual in the night air. Like a sense of dread or pressure. But I'm not a native to these parts, so I can't tell if it's irregular. And since you're still fresh, perhaps you're not attuned to it. Pleasure meeting your acquaintance, but there are rumblings for me to discredit. We shall, I'm certain, meet again. Or never again. Good night, young one. And be careful. You're very likely being hunted by the Sabbat. I wonder why. Goodbye, wolf. I mean, I only blew up their warehouse full of missiles, shotgun shells, assorted human underlings. And what did we spend all of our points on? We have another point of wits. So even if I'm really crap when it comes to uh, melee combat, I'm actually really good at defending against it. Alright. And we're back here with Bertram Tong. The nasty dude that abides. Nice work, fledgling. I felt that explosion a mile away. It's all over the news, too. Man, there's gonna be some pissed off Sabat just howling for blood tonight. <laughs> Do you know of Beckett, the noble savage? Beckett? Well, I know of him. Why? We traded words. No kidding. Huh. Must be something major happening if he's in town. Beckett is a historian of sorts. He's unearthed more vampire lore than anyone. Well, that's all Beckett does. Seek the truth behind our condition. I seek the full questions from your bubbling dome. What do you need? Hmm. I made the acquaintance of your golden ghoul. I know you did. Sharp kid. Contract like a bloodhound. I watched him work for a while before I approached him. I had no idea how eager he would be to help. It fested in your brain that I would. I knew you would. I had him watching you know who for me. It was inevitable you'd pass through her joint. I told him to keep an eye out for you, gave him lines to feed you, the whole bit. The Golden Ghoul spilled his secrets like a child. Oh shit. 
Your scheme was laid bare before me. <laughs> well, savor the flavor, fledgling. It was accomplished regardless of your play. Thanks. You helped me get rid of a spy without revealing myself, or getting my hands dirty. Oh, that seemed to put him in a good mood. I guess he trusts me, or maybe something of the sort, with that smile on his face. You know if people tell me. Sure. Tell me of the Jester Prince. Jester? You call him LaCroix a Jester? Uh, you'd uh, better watch that, Fletchling. Anyway, what am I gonna say? Uh, he's the boss now. Hmm. Well, I guess we could use the time remaining for him to fill us in on all the clans. Sure. They bear the Bruja. They're a bunch of malcontents. They get pumped up by rousing the rabble they keep around them. <laughs> like, that's hard. Nothing breeds faster than contempt. And that's what the Bruja are all about. Jealousy and contempt. Sure. Give me the goods on the gangrel. Well, they fancy themselves loners and drifters running around the countryside and barking at the moon. <laughs> it's all just an act. Gangrel can walk upright. They just choose not to. I'm gonna have to assume that's what Beckett is. Indiana Jones in the form of a were- oh, not quite a werewolf. But a wolf vampire? I think that was one of the powers that Alucard had in Castlevania, if I remember right. Sure. Who else? Demystify the Malkavians. Malkavians are, uh, interesting. There's something to them. Learning to sort the wisdom from the bullshit can be some work, and, uh, not all of them are worth listening to, but, uh, they're all good fun, if you ask me. Fun like the dark daughter of Janus. Janus's daughter? What the... Oh, Janus. The two-faced god? You mean Therese Vorman. Oh man, you Malkavians are really messed up. Anyway, that was just silly vampire politicking fledgling. No more. You get used to that kind of thing. The dark daughter of Janus wanted you sw to swim the dark waters. Yeah, no kidding. Now that the Camarilla's moved into L.A., Therese wants the title of Prince of Santa Monica. I guess she saw me as a threat. Funny thing is, I could care less. Is the task beyond your Nazi self? I highly doubt it. It just seems like a prince is more of a public face kind of thing, and he seems more interested in keeping himself well hidden. I seek to pull questions from your bubbling dome. Like what? Hmm. Hmm. Clans are just bloodlines, you know. A common root shared and passed on from sire to child. Uh, someone else. Some knowledge of the Nosferatu. The Nosferatu are damn good at what we do. No one even argues that. If you need to know, if you want it found, you come to us. We're indispensable. Not a bad place to be in the afterlife. Hmm. Fate shines well on your twisted visage. The Nosferatu stick together. Pool resources. We have more going on than anyone could guess at. Our web blankets the night. Basically vampire ninjas, but he ain't far off on that. Are the creeping worms part of the Justice family? I'm loyal to the clan, loyal to my primogen, and therefore loyal to the Camarilla. Hmm. Sure. Someone mm. else. Tally the truth of the Toreador. <laughs> I don't rub elbows with the pretty bloodsuckers much, but I've seen them work people like puppeteers, and that's admirable. Now, if only they'd get off their slimy asses and put their talent to some use besides feeding their egos. Well, 
He's not entirely wrong. Sure. Still, the Tories are pretty fun. Mm -hmm. They get to play around with uh, celerity. And combine that with their ability for guns. It involves a pretty hilarious style of gameplay. Where you're shooting bullets that go at a snail's pace while dodging the enemy's bullets that are also going at a snail's pace. It's pretty fun. Like a deadly game of dodgeball. If you can dodge a bullet, you can dodge a ball. Tell a tale of the to of the Tremere. Mages. I don't have any reason to trust them. They're creepy, and I think they like it that way. But to be honest, I don't hear much about the Tremere. There's a few in L.A., but all in all, there's not that many of them. Sure. The Tremere are pretty fun to play. Mm. No, they're mostly ranged class of vampire, but they don't have celerity. I think they have the Auspux and uh, Domination, maybe? Still, their spells are hilarious. One of them makes people explode. Ventru and Veritas. Well, they get a bad rap, if you ask me. Everyone likes to take shots at the man in charge. But when it comes to getting the job done, the Ventru know how to step up. They can take the heat. Can you open my eyes to the sex? Sure, fledgling. It's war out there, after all. You should know all you can about the different sides. What appraisal of the Anarchs? The Anarchs. Yeah, I respect what they do, strenuous liberty and all that jazz, but they're kidding themselves. Wherever there's an ounce of power to be had, there'll be people dicking each other over. You think the Camarilla invented that? He's got a point. He has a very good point. What do you know of the one with a number for a name? From what I hear, he's a likable sort, and that's a problem. Nines Rodriguez is the kind of guy you want on your side, and more kindred go anarch every day because of him. I see someone with my mind's eye. Sure. Uh, I'm you gone. better get back downtown. Prince LaCroix is going to want to hear all about this victory. The yellow submarine is waiting. Which I believe was a Beatles song, wasn't it? Yellow submarine, yellow submarine. Or maybe he meant this. Fun thing about the taxi driver, and only a few vampires ever get to learn this, but... He is himself a vampire. That's what the yellow, that's what the purple means. Where to? Anyways. Get this big yellow beetle scuttling towards my destiny. And we finally get to leave Santa Monica. Hit up I-10 and take me downtown, good sir. You learn a bit more about the taxi driver a little later. But come on, man. You didn't hear that? You didn't see him coming with aspects? Let's drain it. Let's take it and leave it out for the sunrise. We're going to have a lot of fun with this one. Think you could blow up our warehouse and get away with it? Ah, lick. <laughs> Let's pull out its eyes and its tongue and its teeth. I want its teeth. This is unfortunate. Camarilla, fuck. Oh, come on. Boys, I think we could all use a little entertainment. Those of you sitting in the first few rows will get wet. And then he breaks the fourth wall. Son Fucking vampire bitch. Deadpool. Leave. There's three of us, Rodriguez. Yeah. <laughs> three of us. What are you gonna do? Shoot us? 
This ain't over. We'll find you. You too, Rodriguez. You're both dead. Nobody messes with the Sabbat and lives. Keep moving. Trouble sure seems to like you. Good effort. Execution needs a little work. You look like shit. Name's Nines. What happened to one through eight? Same thing that happens to a lot of Anarchs, Malk. But you already know that somehow, don't you? Should have been more careful, newbie. This ain't the Burbs. Your face is familiar. Do you have your own cereal? Kid, I got things to deal with. Why don't you pay me a visit at the last round tonight? I don't know what you've heard so far, but it's time you heard the real story. I like stories. This is a mean existence. Stay out of trouble, kid. Maybe. Or maybe not. Hmm. And then we wake up in some random ass street. Well, I get the feeling that the Jester Prince is probably at the top of that tower right there, being the tallest building, the highest ivory tower in the entire realm. <laughs> city. Yeah, city. Not realm. That's just what my other brain says. Maggots love you. Yes, they do. Trust me. I give them enough to feed on. But we'll explore that tower next time. Farewell, vampire.